I am Jock, and I'm going to tell you my side of the story. I hear on my door. I go open it and see a black-haired, white-skinned, teenage-looking girl. Yes, can I help you, I ask. Why, yes, you can, the girl replies. I need somewhere to stay. Hmm, fine then, but let me warn you. There are six other people who live here, and we are slobs. That's all right. I love to clean. Hang on, aren't you Snow White? I ask. Yes, I am. Is there a problem? <laughs> no. Come on in, you see, Snow White. I've always wanted to kill that evil little girl because I've always loathed her, and everyone in the kingdom just adores her, and I'm sick of it. Yes, I know it's very mean of me, and I should not do it, but I am, and I will. So, what is my devious plan, you may ask? It will come later. So, anyway, there is a huntsman named Humbert. <laughs> what a name. And he is trying to help Snow White escape my evil plan. But Snow White does not know about it yet. <laughs> I noticed that she was very tired, so I offered her to take a nap, and she did. When she awoke, my fellow brothers were home from work. Just before she awoke, however, I knew how I was going to kill her. I would poison an apple. The apple would be as red as lipstick. It would be a red, delectable, delicious, defiant apple that would be worthy to be eaten. This apple would be the greatest, most wonderful apple of all. I would make it with Dobie's chemist set, the one he always carries around. I made the potion that night when everyone was sleeping. When I was finished and I put the poison in the apple, it was glowing with beauty. Now this is Humbert, and I noticed that he has been spying on my house, making sure Snow White will not be harmed. I think he knows about my plan. I will do anything from having him interrupt my evil scheme. Two days after Snow White started staying with me and my fellow brothers, I knew I had to act soon. So, that afternoon, when all of my brothers were in the mines working, I went up to Snow White and said most patiently, Would you like an apple, dear? You look awfully hungry after doing all that cleaning. Why, thank you. I sincerely love apples, she replied, and so I gave it to her. And she took a big bite and... She hit the ground and she was dead. Humbert must have heard the racket, because he came bursting through the door. What have you done? he exclaimed. Who, me? Oh, I have just killed Snow White. And with that, I ran out of the door and into the woods. I am in the woods because I cannot go back to the house, because there are probably many bear cops, and if they were to ask me why I had done it, then I would have no answer. Why did I kill Snow White? I know I was fed up with her because the whole kingdom loves her and all of that stuff, but was it really worth killing someone? It wasn't. Oh no, Snow White, I am so stupid, and I have just come to my senses that I have killed an innocent little girl. How can I live with myself? I was about to go back to the house when I see Humbert carrying Snow White in his arms into the woods. He is also dragging a sort of coffin with him. As I watch, he lays Snow White in the coffin, says a few words, and then heads back to the house. In most versions of the story, there is a prince that comes out of nowhere and kisses Snow White. However, in the real story, it is actually me. I go up to her and see her pale face and how I feel tears coming on. I lean down and kiss her.